the number one question that I get in the comment section on YouTube, on Twitter, in the private Discord, is where can I pre-order these IPOs so I can get in at a much lower price on these IPOs before the market opens so I don't have to be chasing these IPOs as they open so I can already get my shares at a much lower price before everybody else. What you got to do is you got to go to the pinned comment, click the Weeble link right there, and you're going to get 12 free stocks. And Weeble is the only platform that is allowing you to trade every single IPO. So go over there, get your 12 free stocks, and get in these IPOs before everybody else because this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. They could change the rules at any point. I've talked a lot to older investors and ask them what IPOs used to be like and if there was ever this much excitement for IPOs that we're seeing today. Many of these investors have told me that IPOs used to be the most hyped up thing in the entire market, even more than small caps and penny stocks, but the hype just disappeared for a very long time. I thought about it and, you know, nobody really cared about any new IPOs for a very long time as us retail just focused on meme movements like AMC, GME, BBBY, you know, small cap runners and OTC penny stocks. But as of recently, investors started to see that there is truly big money to be made in these IPOs. And this is the first time in a long time IPOs regained that excitement and the first time in general that it regained that excitement after retail started to become a huge part of the overall market. So what's retail has to take advantage of this, in my opinion, this is not financial advice, but this is a movement like we have not seen before. Before they try to change the rules potentially like they have done to stocks, OTC stocks, and small caps, so it's harder to trade them. We know that the Jay-Z IPO is hitting the market tomorrow, and you want to be there for that live stream that is already scheduled. And, you know, I already do have the next IPO at the end of this video lined up for y'all that is available to pre-order on a Weeble right now. So sign up all you got to do is deposit with that link and if you don't use that link you're not going to get the 12 free stocks so you might as well do it go to the community tab on my channel and click notify me on that live stream so you're going to get alerted when we start the live stream and not only that if you turn on the bell you don't even have to do all of that my overall point of that initial part of the video is that ipos used to be one of the most hyped up aspects of the market even before the meme hype and there was you know none of that during the 2022 2020 and early 2021 bull runs because retail was just not interested in these new companies hitting the market but now that retail has discovered this important aspect of the market there are extreme opportunities to get in on these pre-orders and in some cases get in these ipos after the ipo hits the market and make significant returns ipos are still very hot there was one today called mob that hit the market Market and got 60% returns and this was one that really not anybody was talking about so people are looking for these IPOs ready to get in and ready to make a lot of money on these IPOs the Jay-Z IPO is tomorrow like we know and it's going to be the most interesting one to date because We've discussed in past videos that AMTD Digital, ticker HKD, and by the way, a lot of people are talking about AMTD, the ticker, as a sympathy, so you might want to keep that on your watch list as well. But HKD, the IPO that started all of this hype, is the underwriter to the IPO JZ that we're going to be live streaming tomorrow. HKD has a hu had a huge crew of people in Hong Kong and China buying up. HK due to extreme levels and squeezing out these shorts. I don't personally see how the HKD group could ignore Jay-Z as HKD is literally the underwriter to Jay-Z, the one facilitating the Jay-Z IPO. The HKD group brought this up from $15 to $2,500, but what is even more impressive is the group is holding HKD to a $33 billion market cap, and they don't even do close to that much revenue, at $179 per share, with so no signals right now of dropping much lower. If this group is all over Jay-Z, we could see a nice run, not guaranteed. You know, it's, it's likely we'll, we will not see what we saw with HKD, because that's really a once-in-a-lifetime run, but our Jay-Z pre-orders do have a great chance of exploding. Remember, Jay-Z is not a Hong Kong IPO like the HKD, MEGL, and GCT were, but they do have Hong Kong investors listed in their notes there. We all know that when there is a hyped up IPO, there will be sympathy plays. There are already a few China education small caps moving higher, which gives me, gets me even more excited. People are already on the on the sympathy plays before the IPO hits the market. That gets me really excited for the main play, Jay-Z. We know Jay-Z is the main play, but we got to talk about a few sympathies. First one, WAFU. This is only going to work out if Jay-Z rips, and sometimes they don't even work out at all. But you want to have these on your watch list just in case you want to do a quick in and out trade. Now, 
Wafu is a $15 million market cap company, a 1 million float in the China education sector. Remember, Jay-Z is Jazani education and these education China stocks are being sympathies. Now, you see stocks like LXEH move 28% after hours, FHS, FH, FHS move 37% for the sole reason they are China education stocks. And WAFU seems to be a good one. Low float, you can easily move this one up or down at a very small market cap. So that one looks great. Always keep in mind, the main IPO is a main play, which is Jay-Z. There has been many scenarios where sympathies get a lot of love. So I just want to put them on your radar. These are in and out plays. Take profit if you're up. If you notice a stock falling and not getting any volume or falling rapidly, you know, don't be afraid to take a loss and get out quick before you lose a lot more. They're one day plays, not financial advice on that one. Now let's talk about two OTC stocks. First one, GEGI0092, 18 million market cap, 300 million float. It had a great day of consolidation today after a massive run tapping one cent. And we got a very important update today. I'm grateful for the interview opportunity that will be hosted on Twitter. I am reviewing a date and time that will coincide with a few corporate events that need to happen first. If you didn't know already, SPAC Trader in Training and I will be hosting a Twitter Q&A with the GEGI CEO very soon. Follow me on Twitter, moonmarket underscore. The date is being decided to where we, when we want to do it and have the community ask CEO questions. It's going to be coming from the community, but we're going to be the ones asking the CEO questions. It sounds like from this tweet, they may be, this is speculation, they may be posting a PR or some sort of update before they want to do the interview. And then after the interview should be the merger opportunity that they have already identified. Now, WLAN004, 11 million market cap, they got pink current yesterday and we should be hearing updates from the management on their future business plans we don't know how long it's going to take it's really just a waiting game but this one is so accumulated and a lot of big investors are in this one that are waiting to hear about this news they got recent board members from one from paramount pictures basically billion dollar companies uh, people from that worked for those billion dollar companies joined on the team over here on WLAN. So they do have a real chance to make this one explode only if the business plan is a great one. It's still high risk. The IPO next week that you can pre-order on Weeble right now is HPCO. This is a US IPO, not a Hong Kong IPO, but it's a US IPO with the lowest float that I have seen. And I think it has great potential. And the underwriter usually delivers IPOs, underwriter of HPCO, delivers IPOs that like to pop on day one. They're only offering 1 million shares, so a tiny 1 million float, and it gets more interesting than that, which is lower than GCT, MEGL, Starbucks, and all the big ones that ran out of the gate. I put my pre-order in already. The OTC stock, GGII, is the parent company to HPCO that ran 178% today that was alerted in the private discord and i'll show you that and ggii will own 79.9 percent of hpco this also means 79 percent of the tiny 1 million float will be already locked up meaning only 200,000 shares will truly be available to trade because most of them are already locked up now i do want to show you the private discord and the gains that we've been making on these IPOs, I mean, it's been absolutely incredible. GCT, 380%, $1,000 on GCT, $4,000 on this one, $150. Even small account players are making a lot of money. 368% return, 297% return. And I do want to show you that our moon stock alerts have been killing it. For example, we alerted GG, G, GGII today along with HPCO pre-order. And you know how GGII went. It literally ripped 170% on the day. A lot of people made a lot of money on all of these stocks that were alerting this private Discord. I'm alerting the IPOs I'm buying. Not only that, we're alerting small cap and OTC stocks. We have a 24-7 chat where you can get crazy and talk to, you know, people, like-minded people. We have the stock baller room where you can go ahead and get further alerts from people we promote in the private discord and maybe you can even be promoted to a stock baller if you're good at it and if you're good at calling a lot of bangers in the small cap game now make sure you use the discord link in the top and comment use the weeble link in the top and comment get your 12 free stocks and don't miss out on any ipos in the future that's it for me peace